I'm here. Let the war begin. Yes, time is of the essence. Lieutenant Pierce, Captain Quinn, bring my apprentice up to speed on our enemy's activity. Yes, my lord, it's a fairly complex situation. General Ferrer, the War Trust's most senior member, is garrisoned in a fortified wing of the Republic's main base. He's got a huge army protecting him. More reinforcements on the way. We're outnumbered eight to one. My lord, the lieutenant's statistics are inexact, but the general thrust is sound. The numbers favor Ferrer, but there are ways around that. Stick close to the captain, lieutenant. You might learn a thing or two. Noted. Now, to maximize our chances, we must coordinate three simultaneous strikes. One will destroy the base's power station. Another will sabotage its spaceport force field to thwart any reinforcements. And the last will force the conscripted regiments of Ferrer's army to flee. Who knew this would be so complicated? War is never simple, Apprentice. Quinn will coordinate from the base and you will lead the frontline offensive. Beyond that, decide how to assign your men. Goodbye. I'm the best choice for frontline work. You need a soldier. I disagree. If the frontal assault isn't handled correctly, your route into the command center will be clogged with run-over battlefield soldiers. In my opinion, Jaysa should join you. She can use her power to see into the hearts of the enemy and identify the insecure ranks. I want Jaysa's insights on the battlefield. Very good, my lord. That leaves Pierce and Vet to handle the power station demolition and the spaceport sabotage. If the traps and mines that protect the power station aren't circumvented in time, you'll be under constant turret fire inside the Republic base. Vet, clear the way so the power station can be destroyed. Child play. Unless Pierce can lock the spaceport force field in time, you'll face Ferrer's reinforcements inside the base. Don't worry about me, Captain. Assaults have been assigned, my lord. Once you've cleared the way on the front, invade General Ferrer's command center at will. Let's get this war started. My lord, any final words for the troops? Today we fight as one. I believe in every one of you. Join me in victory. If that doesn't inspire, nothing will. Good luck, my lord. I'll be coordinating the attacks via Hollow. Don't worry, Captain. The real soldiers have got this one. appreciate some time to talk. Alert. The enemy is sighted. <laughs> Sith, you are massively outnumbered. You will not invade General Ferrer's headquarters. Turn away at once. Jaysa, use your power and scan Ferrer's forces for the weak link. My pleasure, Master. Most of these dogs are brimming with strength and conviction. I sense hate and a willingness to die for the Republic. Ah, uh, not so fast. There, an entire column of soldiers who are forced to be here. They will definitely run if singled out. Lead the assault against the conscripts, Jaysa. Make them flee. Thank you, Master. Men, attack with me! Scripted scum. We still have numbers. All attack.
Lord, I have updates from the other fronts. I'm pleased to report that the Republic power station has been destroyed. Vet went through their traps like they were infant toys. From her report, I doubt anyone else could have achieved it. You were right in assigning her to strike the power station. I will reward her for a job well done. When she puts her mind to it, she can be a very valuable asset. With the base security systems down, you'll endure no automatic turret fire on our way to Ferrer's command center. On the other front, Lieutenant Pierce was able to sabotage and lock the Republic spaceport force field controls. Pierce has proven himself up to every assignment. The credit is yours for identifying his strengths. Still, the General's elite guard clogs the way to the command center. They are quite formidable. Danger only makes things more fun. Then this may be the most fun you've had yet. There's no time to lose, my lord. Forest Command Center awaits. Good luck. Time for you to join the rest of the War Trust, Ferrer. Quite the contrary. After you took down my fellows, I knew my only chance was to delay you. And my gambit has paid off. I bought enough time for my technicians to solve how to stabilize Seantide cells of any kind. The future is upon us, Sith, and you have the privilege of bearing witness. Enemy sighted. Weapon systems targeted and locked. I've handled war droids before. Not like these, you haven't. Sea and Tide technology increases the strength of whatever it powers tenfold. The Republic fleet and arsenal will make your weapons obsolete. The Empire will have no choice but to surrender, which you should do now. How about I attack instead? Engaging all weapons. You are beaten, General. I can't believe it. All this work. All this death. For naught. I wish I could sit around and discuss where I went wrong. But a good leader always has an exit strategy. Not so fast, General. I thought you might try to run. I can always count on you, Quinn. I surrender. I expect to be afforded the treatment promised to prisoners in the Treaty of Coruscant. You're not my prisoner. You're my victim. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> <laughs>
Nice to see generals scream when they die, just like anyone else. Congratulations on the success of your mission. Taking down the War Trust is an incredible victory. It is clear you are the future of the Empire, and I hope you will count me among your closest allies. I may call on you someday, Herden. Your unquestioned obedience will be expected. Well, yes, of course. You can count on that. As a show of support, I place Lieutenant Pierce under your command. He will be invaluable in your domination of the galaxy. Works for me. Done what I can here on Terrace. Glad you're willing to let me go, Herden. You're meant for greater things, Lieutenant. With me, you will fulfill your destiny. You won't be disappointed. Lieutenant Fallin, I will brief you on how things work here when we are back on the ship. Can't wait. Apprentice, the War Trust dismantling has been your finest hour, but a new challenge arises. One of our missing targets, Admiral Monk, has revealed himself. As you may recall, my master, Darth Vengeance, set off to conquer the fringe systems and inspire the Dark Council to reignite the war. Somehow, Admiral Monk caught wind of the plan and was waiting in ambush. He is laying siege to the flagship as we speak. The plan was secret. Do you think there's a leak? Information is a funny thing. It trickles in unexpected ways. Leave those concerns to me. Plan Zero calls for Admiral Monk's head. This may be our only opportunity to crush him. Our flagship is commanded by Moff Maskin. Fly to the space battle immediately. Board his ship and stop Admiral Monk's siege. <laughs> 